there! Today we're going to talk about the parts of a seed. So we've talked about the parts of flowers, and we've talked about fruits, and the parts and the different kinds of fruits, and so it only makes sense to talk about seeds next because seeds almost always come from flowers or from the inside of fruits, which always come from flowers. At some point, we will talk about seeds that don't come from flowers. That'll be another lesson on another day. The seed is the part of the plant that houses the baby plant. The baby plant lives in the seed. Not only does it house the baby plant, but it also feeds the baby plant. The seed provides the baby plant with food until it can grow big enough to provide food for itself. Now let's look at the parts of seeds. Are you excited to do some seed dissection? I am. I've got some seeds that I've been soaking here for a few days. I've got two lima beans and these are some lentils. So let's look at the lima bean. I think we'll have a much easier time seeing all the parts of our seed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the skin. And I'm gonna use my fingernail to kind of slit it down the edge, open it up. There we go. Okay. So I got the skin off all in one piece. This is actually called the testa. A little piece. And testa comes from the Latin word testa, which means shell. And it, the seed is protected by this part. So then I'm gonna open it up. It looks like one of my parts kind of broke off a little bit. So if you can see here, there's a little like thin feathery looking thing right here and then a thicker thing right here. Those two together are called an embryo. An embryo comes from the Greek word embryon, which means embryo. And this part right here, that looks like a little feather, is called the plumule. It comes from the Latin word pluma, which means small feather. And that's the part of the embryo that makes the leaves and the stem of the plant. And then the other part of the embryo, which is actually in two pieces here, the little tip broke off when I was taking off the testa. That's called the radical, which comes from the Latin word radix, which means root. So you can guess what part of the plant that's going to grow into. Yeah, the root. And it's the part that comes out of the seed first because it needs water to hold the plant in the ground. And then these are our cotyledons. How many cotyledons am I holding? Two. And cotyledon comes from the Greek word cotyl, which means cup. So this is actually the food for the baby plant. It feeds the plant as it grows. And we actually have two of these and we call that a dicotyledon means two cotyledons. This prefix di means two. 
If we had a seed that did not come apart in two, like this one, it would be called a monocotyledon. Mono means one, one cotyledon. So let's see what happens when we take apart the lentil seed. See if there's one or two parts. There's the testa. What do you think? Oh, look. It's a dicotyledon, and look how tiny the parts are. You see the plumule and the radical? I'm trying to focus my camera. Okay, so what you can do is soak some beans and seeds and investigate them. You can discover if they're monocots or dicots. That's the short nickname for monocotyledon and dicotyledon. Let's see if you can identify all the parts of the seed. You can make a little booklet. You can make a chart. Do some exploring and we can talk about all the parts of a plant, the flower, the roots, the seeds, the veins of the leaf. We can talk about how they all come together, all of those different characteristics in different groups with scientific classification. We're trying to classify plants. We'll do that at another time.